Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an exciting video for me. Hands in the air. <laughs> is it really exciting though? That's the real question. I asked you guys to vote for this video, whether you guys wanted to see a foundation collection video or you wanted to see a summary type of bold lip and neutral eye kind of look. And so many of you guys voted for my foundation collection because you guys want to just, you guys are so nosy. You just want to know, you just want to know. So thank you for everyone on Twitter and on Snapchat for responding to me. The whole point of me asking you guys questions is like for you guys to answer me the questions that I'm asking you guys. I've been in Florida. I was in Florida for the past five days. It just feels so good to film. <laughs> it feels so fucking good to film. Mm. I haven't filmed in like two weeks in my own house and I just feel so good being in my own room and with my little lights and all this extra shit. Like it feels nice to be in your own home and just film. Thank you to everyone that liked the collabs with me and Jacqueline. All the love and support was so awesome and hello to all my new subscribers that came from that video. So thank you to everyone that was commenting on those videos. I love reading your guys' comments. It just makes me feel so good and I feel so rejuvenated and it makes me want to create more videos because you guys truly like appreciate it and it makes me appreciate it more too. What? I'm so excited for Fame Expo LA. I cannot wait. 27th to 28th. I will be there both days. On the Saturday, I'll be there from 1 to 3 doing a meet and greet at Makeup Geeks booth. So if you guys are going to Fame Expo, I cannot wait to see you guys. On Sunday, I believe I'll be there from 2.15 to 3.15 doing a panel. And then after that, I'll do a meet and greet for another hour. Also really excited to be there with Patrick. Patrick's doing them with me. So we're going to be there together and we're going to be doing both of them together. So I'm really, really, really stoked. My family's going and I'm just... I don't know, really, this is like such an exciting like event for me because it's like my one year as Manny MUA. I went last year, it was my first year ever going to Fame Expo, but I only had like 10,000 followers on Instagram. And my mom and dad are going, and I just really, I'm really excited. So I would love to see you guys there, I really would, because it would just mean so much. It's gonna be so exciting, and I cannot wait. But yeah, other than that, I'll get you guys to the video. If you guys don't like this kind of video, if you guys don't like me, don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. Don't watch it. If you guys are gonna go out of your way to comment bad things, like, really, what's the point? Go live. Go live and do things productive with your damn lives, because I don't want to read your nasty-ass comments. I want to read cool comments. I want to read nice things. I want to read positive things. So, yeah. If you guys don't like this video or don't like me, don't watch it. But if you guys do like me and you guys do like this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get to this video. Okay, so let's go and start this because I know it's gonna be long because I have so many foundations, like... How I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna like describe every single foundation because we'll be here for like literally an hour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if I would buy it again, that's kind of how I'm gonna gauge the foundations that I have. So let's start. So first one is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation. Um, I really like this foundation. It's a medium to full coverage. Gives you a really pretty demi satin finish. It's really, really nice. And would I buy it again? Yes, I would buy this foundation again because it's really, really pretty. It's great for events. It's great. It doesn't have any flashbacks. Try the Makeup Forever HD. It's really, really nice. I mean, it's all over YouTube for a reason. Next is the Kat Von D Lock It tattoo foundation this one is a full ass coverage shellac feeling foundation it's very heavy i don't really wear this very often honestly i don't i like to apply it the most with a damp beauty blender because it is so heavy and full coverage feeling great for those of you who are really 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 oily and need foundation to like cover up everything as well as stay on all day would i repurchase this no because i don't grab for it very often for those of you who need like a really intense full coverage foundation who are oily awesome this is shit is awesome Cool. Next. Next one is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation by Tarte. This is another full coverage foundation with it has like a very moussey, creamy texture. I do like this foundation, I really do. However, the what I don't like about this is that it will pick up on my little dry patches in my face. If I have a dry patch from something, if I put this foundation on, it will pick up on it. I don't know why it will pick up on it, but it will. And it's so weird. I'm like, why the fuck are you picking up on my shade? Oh. It's a beautiful coverage. It's a really nice finish. It's a very long wearing foundation as well, and it's oil free. I always tell people to use this if they have really sensitive skin who need a lot of coverage. When I worked at Sephora, I would gear them towards this, and a lot of them loved it. So, great foundation. Would I repurchase? No, I would not repurchase actually because don't like when it picks up my dry patches whatsoever okay and next is the cover effects custom cover drops i've had these for a little while i've never actually used them on my channel before <sighs> it's like a love hate with these bitches honestly it really is so i do and i don't like this a lot of people rave about it on youtube people are obsessed with these custom cover drops and i can see why because it is such a cool innovative kind of product you add a couple drops to a foundation you make it more dense in coverage or moisturizer or primer or anything and it will give you coverage cool idea what i noticed with this is that if i use a silicone silicone based primer on my face before I use this with anything it will break on my face throughout the day it's so weird maybe it's just me or like maybe it just reacts to my skin weirdly for example if I use like the Make It Forever smoothing primer on my t-zone and I mix this in with any foundation I have like an hour later it's gonna be broken right here it's so weird I don't know why it does this I've tried mixing this with a, a moisturizer just for like to go out really quickly and it works pretty nicely but other than that man I don't know about this I really don't it's hard I don't know would I buy it again no 
I would not buy this again. Maybe I'm using it wrong. If you guys can let me know because a lot of people are so obsessed with this, let me know how you guys use it because I feel like I'm just using it wrong. Next foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. So this <laughs> foundation was like my tried and true for so long. I used to be so obsessed with this foundation. Full coverage. It stays in place all day. It's sweat resistant, water resistant. It is seriously so good. This bitch does not move on your face. The only thing that I don't like about it is that you can feel it on your face, which is not a big deal to me, but it is a big deal to a lot of people. They do not like it when they can feel foundations on their skin, and I don't care. For me, I don't care. But for a lot of people, they do. They're like, bitch, no, I'm not gonna feel that shit. Because it will dry down on you, and it will go on you like shellac to the face, glued on for the night. For the night, it's on for the night. And would I repurchase? Yes. I would, little Estee Lauder. Oh, I'm not gonna kiss you because my lips will come off. Next one is the Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. That's a long ass name. I do like this foundation. It gives me like a medium buildable coverage. It gives you like a satin finish. It's a really beautiful, beautiful finish. I just don't reach for it very often. Like I think this is probably because it's not my color. I have the color petal and I don't think it's my color. I do like the way it feels. I do like how it sits on the skin. It gives me a satin finish. It's really glowy. It's beautiful. So if you're like normal or combination skin, you will like this. Would I buy it again if it was on sale? If it was on sale, maybe I'll buy it again in my right color. Oh, there's still so many more. <laughs> but. Okay, next one is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. It is a full coverage mattifying foundation that really stays in place, keeps you more matte throughout the day. I love this foundation. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Lays on the skin very nicely. It is full coverage though, so you want to use like a damp beauty blender. I don't really reach for it that often because I don't think it's my color. Again, I need to go get like this bitch switched out because this is in shade 30 and I think I'm like 35. It is a really nice foundation for those of you who are oily and need to be matte throughout the day and need a lot of coverage. This is great for that. So would I buy this again? Yes, I would buy the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. Game. Next one is the Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation. This is the one from the drugstore, I think. I really like this foundation. Like, I really like it. It is a medium to full coverage. It's very buildable. Feels really nice on the skin. I'm in shade 120 Classic Ivory. It is really nice for a drugstore foundation. I'm very impressed. Not that I have a lot of drugstore foundations. I really don't. I have, I have two. But the two I have are like, I researched those shits like hardcore. I was like, are you going to be good to me or are you going to be bad to me? And this one was good to me. So I'm very excited. Like, I really like the Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation. Would I buy it again? Yeah, totally. Totally, totally, totally. I'll buy your little ass again for sure. Next one. Oh my god, the next one is my most expensive foundation. It's the most I've ever spent on a foundation and I almost had a heart palpitation when I bought it. This is the Tom Ford Trixis foundation stick. It looks like this. It's like a little stick foundation. Tom Ford. It's fucking Tom Ford. Like, that shit is expensive. This was like 85 bucks, I think. It was so expensive. I bought it because my friend was, home, was like raving about it and she was like, dude, you need to get this. This shit is the shit of all the shits and the shits. It's that good. This foundation is made for people that are more on the dry side, more normal to dry. I am oily-ish, combination oily, so this one didn't work for me as well as it worked on her. It is a beautiful foundation. It leaves you so dewy, so moist looking, so succulent. What the fuck? That sounds really dirty. Coverage is like medium to full. More on the full side. It's very great coverage. Even with mattifying primers, I was oily. Like, freaking oily throughout the day. It is really nice. For those of you who are dry and willing to spend 80 something dollars on a foundation, great. Good for you. Would I repurchase this? No, because it didn't work for my skin type. Next one is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Foundation. This shit has the pumps, so that's really cool. This is a full coverage creamy foundation. It's, it has like a very moussey texture. It does dry down to it like more like shellacky type finish. It's me more of a, what is this finish? I don't even remember. I don't, I haven't worn this in forever. What are you? What is your little ass? Let me see. This foundation is definitely more on the intense side. It is full coverage. This one is really great at staying in place. Like, this shit will stay on your face and give you an immense amount of coverage, as well as not dry you out. So that's kind of cool. I don't reach for it very often, though. That's the thing. I do not reach for this foundation. Like, ever? I don't know why. I should reach for it more. Would I buy this again? <sighs> no. Yeah, I would. I'm going to give it another chance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try this more. I really do want to like it a lot because it is beautiful. I just don't reach for it very often. I need to reach for it more. I'm gonna reach for you more. I will buy it again. If I run out, but I'm not. Because I have a lot left. <laughs> Next one is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This foundation is a like a sheer to medium to full coverage foundation. It's very, very buildable. It gives you a beautiful, like, luminous finish. I mean, it is called Luminous Silk. It gives you a luminous finish. It will work on you if you're oily, dry, or normal, as long as you're using the right primers to go with it, I think, personally. However, for me, like, I used, I thought I loved this foundation. I really did. Every time I wore it, I didn't wear it for too long, and I thought, that's why I thought I liked it so much. But recently, I wore it 
mixed with other foundations that really worked for me like really well it made my skin it like kind of broke and looked really oily in the center and I knew it was this because the other things I use like don't ever do that to me I tried wearing this by itself and it did give me a beautiful finish for like the first two hours and then after that I was like oily and I was breaking and I was like Fun. Like everyone loves this foundation. Everyone loves it. I love it for the first two hours But after that I don't love it anymore. That's a deterrent for me Like so would I buy this again? No because it is $62 If this was like 25 bucks I would buy it again because I think it's beautiful and I'll wear it out for two hours But for the price I'm paying like I I can't I can't wear it It just doesn't work for me on my skin. My skin like wants to repel this after a couple hours. It's so weird So I'm sorry Armani. I wouldn't buy your ass again It's not my fault. Next is the Mac Studio face and body liquid. This is a very sheer light wash of color foundation. It is so liquidy, it's so lightweight. Feels amazing during the summertime on your skin. It is seriously such a good foundation. This bitch can be built from sheer all the way to full coverage depending on how many layers you put on. Water resistant, sweat resistant, transfer resistant. It is so good. Especially like if you're like a teenager, 13, 14, 15, who wants to start getting into makeup, try the MAC Studio Fix face and body. Or like get a sample of it from MAC. I like this so much more than I like Studio Fix liquid. This is such a great guy foundation too. Would I buy this again for sure? When I run out, I will buy another one. There's two versions. There's like the mini one and there's like the big I guess bitch one, so this is the mini version. Cause I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, you know? But I do. I should've bought the bigger one. You know? You know? Next one is the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. It's like a little paddle when you- uh, Oh, if this fell on me, I would probably cry. It's like a little paddle, it's super weird. Whatever. Okay, so this foundation is a nice medium coverage foundation. It's very, very liquidy. It has a good amount of pigment though to it, so it does feel very lightweight on the skin. Oh, and it smells like roses, so that's really cool. However, it does pick up on my dry patches and that that's like one of my biggest pet peeves with foundation. Like, if you pick up on a dry patch, know that my ass will not be using you. Like, I just don't like that. It drives me fucking crazy. I don't like it when foundations pick up on my dry patches. It sucks. I really wanted to like this so much, and it is so nice on the skin. But if you are dry in any way, shape, or form, it will. I think it will pick up on your guys' patches. Like, it did for me. <sighs> would I buy you again, YSL? I would not. I mean, it's fucking YSL. This shit was not cheap. Like, I have a lot of higher-end foundations. Foundations is my, like, legit obsession. So... Yeah, I will not buy you again. I'm sorry, why is that? Next one is the one of my favorite foundations of all time. Like I just I die. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. This is a drugstore foundation. This is the second drugstore foundation that I own. It is seriously so good. Medium to full coverage. It gives me a demi matte finish. I don't need to touch up as much. It feels super nice on the skin. It is seriously so Nice. If you are dry, I mean, I wouldn't really use this if I was dry unless I was using a really hydrating primer or a moisturizer before. It's not expensive, it's like 13 bucks. Half my foundations are over 50 and this is 13 and I like this more than those. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I made mistakes in my life and now I went. Would I buy this again? Fuck yeah. Okay, next is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. So this foundation is so like controversial on YouTube. Like everyone is like, either they love it or they hate it. I don't, I don't see anyone liking it. Like. Just like, oh, it's okay, it's a pretty good foundation. I see people either love it or they fucking hate it. Like, straight up. For me, I love it. I do. I love the way it feels on top of my skin. It's so lightweight. It's so full of pigment. I only need, like, three drops to cover my face. The normal average girl can use, like, one to two drops. I use three to four because mama wants that coverage done. I love to mix this with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible together. It gives me the most beautiful satin finish ever. Like, I die for that combination. I will use this by itself, of course, but I do get more oily throughout the day when I use this by itself because it is a luminous foundation. It will give you a luminous glow to the skin when you put it on by itself, but I really like it. You have to shake this very well because it will break in the bottle before. Like, you need to shake this bitch up. It gives you a beautiful amount of coverage, but it feels lightweight. I really like it. I don't know. A lot of people hate it, but I really, truly love it for me. Or so my ass, you know? I use my mattifying primer in the T-zone, and it looks really good. I love it. I fucking do, fall. I do. And if I run out, will I buy it again? Yes, I will. Last but not least, the foundation that I'm like obsessing with right now, and I've been obsessing with it for the past like month, is the Dior Air Flash. This is like 60 something dollars. It's so expensive. But honestly, for me, it's worth every single penny, and I will buy this again for sure. It is the most beautiful foundation I've ever worn in my whole life. It gives me the most beautiful finish. I've never worn a foundation that looks this pretty. Ever. I use it with a flat top kabuki. I feel like it gives them the most pretty finish. It's the foundation I'm wearing right now. And I think that my face looks so much prettier and more clear when I'm wearing this foundation. It dries down to a like a satin finish for sure. It's not like super luminous, but it's not matte whatsoever. Medium to full coverage. I like to build it to full coverage. I mean it does I use more product when I build it to full, but I really don't give a shit because I love it when it's full coverage. I just do. 
This little hair, it looks literally like flawless. It looks like porcelain. I do have to put a mattifying primer in the T-zone when I wear it because it will make me oily like oil slick mess. If I don't, with the way it looks, I don't even give a shit. I will forfeit that oil. I will be like, oil. Like, I don't care. I don't. It's just that good to me. I love me. Whew, that was it. I know, oh my god, I know I have a crazy amount of foundations. It's not normal. You don't need this many foundations. You just don't. No one needs this amount of foundations. I'm just saying. I have an obsession. I have a weakness for foundation. It's the one thing that I will splurge on and continue to buy. I would literally own every foundation from every brand. I don't even care. I just want to own the foundation. <laughs> even if I don't wear it, I just want to own it. I'm so weird. It's like a collection. It's like, it's literally like my collection though. Like everyone collects things. People collect buttons and bugs and shit. What do people collect? I don't know. I hope you guys like this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you have any of these foundations and if you have tried them. Especially the ones that like, I don't like. Let me know how you use them because I want to like them. I do. I want to like every foundation I have. But I just, they're not working for me, man. They just, they're just not. So please let me know how you use the foundations that you have. Yeah, other than that, I'll talk to you guys all later. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I like to ask you guys questions on Twitter and Snapchat the most. Like, that's how I asked you guys what video you wanted to see next. So please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. No, wait, no, they didn't. But yeah, other than that, I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I love you. I just want to pinch my thumb. It's so good. Love me. I'm so sorry. I want to like you, but you fucked with me. Why is my house so quiet? It's weird. I feel like it's too quiet. I feel like someone's like in this house murdering my siblings or something. Why do I have to be so morbid? My titties. They want to bounce and I'm telling them no. Why are you barking? Shut up. No. The next one is the ma- <sighs> Some of these have fucking lint on them. It leaves you feeling very, very succulent. What? <sighs> Why do I say Leaves you feeling succulent. Film this video right now. Um, and post- What? Of course I decided to film it. I'm in this camera. What else is there to say? Other than that. Hmm? What else is there? What? Never seen. On Sunday- Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs>